There will be no more talk. Death for you, demon. Death and final darkness. No, please. There has to be another way. Okay, that's fine. Well, shit. Welcome back to the tribulations of Nosferatu Bob. He's now in Hollywood, in the sewers of Hollywood. Finally. Now let's find a way up, shall we? How's this? Man in the door? Okay. Fine. Doors lead places, and that's okay. Wah! That's too close to three masquerade violations right there. That's just not good. Ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. And where the hell were you a minute ago? And you might be... Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. Uh, what if maybe I don't want to see Isaac? Heh, <laughs> you do. You gonna make me? <laughs> Where the hell did he go? Sweeper. That is name or job description. Okay, let's find Isaac then, shall we? Shit! No, it's fine, he just freaked out and ran. Wasn't an actual violation. That's good to know. And the back alleys around here are way too well travelled. I don't really want to have one to have to waste blood on Obfuscate right now. I think he's this way. Yes, yes he is. So is Tommy Flaken. With his review of this cafe. Cavaletti Cafe. See what happens when confronted with a Nosferatu's hideous visage. Oh my! Well, I've almost completely lost my appetite. I wasn't aware this restaurant had a burn ward. Well, now that's just rude. Can you look at my back and tell me if my boil is still oozing? Oh, oh, oh! I'll, I'll never eat in this part of town again. Oh my! Oh, I'll, I'll never eat in this part of town again. Oh, my. Oh, he's definitely not going to be giving that place a favorable review now. <laughs> and jewelry store. Dude coming out of there who I should probably not run into. What the hell, man? I mean, if you were kindred, not a problem. But you're not. You're a meal. Hi, camera. Hollywood is Toreador Central, so that's going to be fun as well. Isaac. Good evening, neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla <coughs> shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? 
You tell me, one of your goons directed me here. Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. And what purpose would that be? It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. So, what sort of understanding is there going to be between us? Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. I see. So what do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? <sighs> Are you worried it's a setup, so you're sending me instead? Speaking of paranoia, no. Simple pickups, all that's involved. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? You enjoy this, don't you, making people dance on your chain? You live long enough. You'll be asking some whelp to do the same thing. And as I mentioned, this is simply a matter of tribute. Fair enough. I'll do it. But I have some questions first. There'll be plenty of time for questions later. I'll explain everything when you get back. Oh, there'd better be. Package delivery. Never done that before. I'm gone. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Thanks. Ah, more mindless busy work. Because, of course, that's all I'm good for, apparently. Fetch this, pick up that, go and do the other thing. Huh. Okay, it's absolutely bugger all there. Good to know. sure this is the place. I could have looked up before going through the door, but who bothers with that? Ah, yep. Yeah. Cool. Ah. Need to read racing. See Jane Drive. Jane is not a pronoun, it is a proper noun. It is a name. That poster is incorrect. So, let's see. Ah, ground zero login, you cutie you. Okay, this is obviously not Joseph K, but that's fine. Ah, entering email. Subject, Hitomi Hello from Ayoko33 at blah 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 blah. Hi, I am Ayako. Let's English practice. Your homestay, how it is? America must be so coolest. You're in Hollywood. Are you in a movie? Love, Ayako. <coughs> Present, Kenta and I ate Okonomiyaki of Yokohama. That extremeness was tasty. What is eaten in America? Does they eat the Japanese food? I must investigate. Bye bye, Ayako. Our Americans have long legs. 
Now you date American boy. Is the image sent? It is happy. And this weekend I go to the hot spring where my family has been attached. I am excited very. When we are the child is Yuki, which is the friend to us remembered. She is also inquire about a thing in America. Is the pleasant time past? Send many images due to me. Ayako. That's... I'm not sure how I feel about those emails. They're a bit terribly written, and I'm sure it was probably by somebody who actually is quite familiar with English. But never mind. It's fine. Old game. Bound to be some mildly problematic stuff. Shizzle. Ah, dude, my impressions totally rushed your pranks last night in Eurocraft. Playing tonight. Also, that girl that sits next to me in science talked to me today. She totally wants me to do her. Yeah, she probably said, look, stop fucking looking at me. Or, get away from me, you fucking creep. Or something like that. Words don't necessarily imply interest. Anyway. No, dude. Your mom. Your mom. Psych. Your mom. What are you doing to me, Tupacula? I said cover me, not die like a little bitch. One more Fubar and you're out of the clan. I just straight snatched the new Troika game. If you hacksaw the code, you can unlock Clan Chocula. Um, yeah. Playing Bloodlines as Chocula would be... very silly. All the potential fucking Masquerade breaches in here, man. Hey, Hollywood Celebrity Database, we're not up to anything involving that yet. Joseph K. Apps. Directory. Access denied. Your account balance is 56 cents. To recharge your account, please speak to a Ground Zero employee. Fine. Because I actually know the password there, I will use it. No subject. Meet me in the alley behind the fast buck. I'll delete that. Virus alert! Read me! Mav has detected a virus in the attachment of this message. The virus has been quarantined and a notice is sent to sniffq at mail.btn. Okay, okay. Um, need to be doing this in here, or anything in here. I don't think there is anything to be done in here, in fact. <coughs> there is a screen that I can look at, but there doesn't seem to be much happening. Can't. I don't want to talk to him, actually. Um, the bathroom. Yep. Those are cool. Okay, let's get out of here. Alley behind the fast buck. Ah! Ah! I terrified somebody. Great. But still, not a masquerade breach. It's fine. Well, this right here is the alley behind the fast park. And they certainly didn't say anything about breaking into the fast park. But what the hell? Oh shit, that was a criminal violation. Someone must have seen that. Okay, whatever. Criminal violation is fine, really. I want to 
waste their electricity and leave all of their ah stupid automatically closing doors Uh, you must be at least as high as this counter to buy alcohol, porn, and or cigarettes, bro. You don't like my stoop? Oh, uh, welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monstro face. I mean, <laughs> Monstro Chug. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89. Dude, I'm sorry, but what is the deal with your mug? I get into a lot of fights with people who ask me about my face. Dude, sorry, bro. You know, I did not mean to offend you, man. Totally my bad. You need something? Yeah, what's going on around here? Anything exciting or unusual? Always. You should come out and see my band, A Bowl of Cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. We're going to ruin the place. It's always good to know that the future of Why are you bleating, cat? You can come in. Let's see who else Yeah, can the Vesuvius Color. rocks. What do you do for a living? They don't let me in anymore, but okay. damn, the girls and there, dude. What do you it's do, like midget Roger. smuggling ring um, in there. I'm a writer, Deb. So okay. have you written any uh, movies I might have seen? No, thanks. I'm not into that sort of thing. Uh, hey, you know, so you should really ask me about the special, you know? Okay, I'll bite. What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? She has to announce her presence. She's a strange cat. Wait, you're selling weapons out of a convenience store? Yo, keep it down. Shh. It's just my side gig, you know. New amps and lap dancers don't pay for themselves, dude. That's true, amps are overly expensive. Alright. Show me what you've got. Cult Anaconda. Ingram Mac 10. A big fucking hammer. And some crossbow bolts. Um. I don't care. I don't actually want any of that. Get out of my way! Bloody walking masquerade violation people. Now, here's the fun thing. When I leave here, am I going to get swarmed by cops? No, it's fine. Okay. Okay, up here. Where be the dude? meant to be picking shit up from. That'll be him. I'll just sneak past him. Where are you? Yeah? What do you want? Are you the guy with the tape Isaac sent me? Yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, pal. You sure you don't know him? He won't be happy if I go back empty-handed. All right. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Why? What's going on? I, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. 
Look, I know how you feel. Lately, I've seen a lot of things you wouldn't believe. Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the things that are happening to her. It just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No, something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Wow, you're even more yellow than I thought. Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows, my phone rings, I hear something breathing on the other end, and... Shoot. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. What's that smell? Did you shit your pants, hand it over? What? Man, I don't have to take this crap. You can tell Isaac to get his own goddamn... What? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. I saw nothing because we're in conversation and all I can see is you and a fucking wall. Not yet. Yeah, Where's the tape? I stashed <laughs> it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. See what? What the... Oh, Christ! Oh, no! That's not good. And that's even less good. That's a spare severed arm. In case I didn't have one already. But I do. I don't need that one. He might. Although I suppose he doesn't anymore. Um. Okay. The dish best served cold. Good. And the only clue I have is the word ginger swan. sneaking suspicion due to the fact that I've played this game innumerable times that uh, going back to the internet cafe is probably a good idea and looking at the Hollywood database because you know celebrities and such Way chair chair look go over there S to Z Oh look Swan Ginger Ginger Swan Swan a name synonymous with beauty and glamour to this day was a great celebrity of the late forties and early fifties. Her credits included such movies as Gilded Hummingbirds and When No Means Yes. After her passing in 1964, she was interred in the Hollywood Eternal Mausoleum. Cemetery Mausoleum. Okay. And people are playing for their lives because... What the fuck is that thing? Or a person is fleeing for her life. Whatever. <laughs> Bit of foreshadowing there. Um, anyway, let's get the hell out of here and go and check out the cemetery, I suppose. <laughs> Look, do you mind, people? It's very offensive just like seeing me and screaming and running away in terror. I can have feelings. One feeling is that I want that cop not to notice me, particularly, because that could cause problems. Ah, uh, where am I going? No, that's entirely the wrong way. I 
I should know better. Um, well, that's Hey, pay phones, you don't see them so often these days. The mass pole. Fast buck. And this. Destitute individuals. That's okay. Back door to the sin bin. And here's the back door to the cemetery. Well, not really a door, obviously, but you know, it's a way in. Once you move all the shit out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> Hollywood Forever Cemetery. That looks quite nice, actually. And there's Venture Tower. Now, this is a situation that. Can oh, there, be Slick. I want to think about knocking next time I damn near blew your head off. Thought you might be a zombie. Why would you think I was a zombie? Look at how you look. Why wouldn't I think you're a zombie? <laughs> Nosferatu. Rude. How do you know about the Nosferatu? Hey, I'm the Baron's own personal ghoul. I know about all of you. Another damn ghoul? How many of you are there? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Damn ghoul's dandy and all. But, uh, name's Romero. I'm the caretaker here. Well, that is, I don't exactly keep people from getting in. Although that is part of my job. No. You see, I'm here to make sure nothing gets out. What do you mean? See, it's like this. Every night around this time for the past, oh, several months now, the... Dead of him getting up with an itch to stroll down Hollywood Boulevard. Nobody knows why, but they're working on it. Till they figured out, they needed a volunteer to patch the problem, and I stepped forward. Problem temporarily solved. The Baron's happy. I get to shoot zombies. And guarantee I get my blood for another month. I've carved out a nice niche here. What's causing the zombies to rise? Who knows? Vampire necro hoodoo. Toxic waste, solar radiation. The important part is, they continue to rise up, and I get to put them down. Everybody's a winner. All you do here is shoot zombies. Shoot them, blow them away, frag them. Whatever the situation calls for. Sometimes I throw in chopping and dicing, just to mix it up. Sounds like fun. You're telling me. As far as I know, I'm the only person around Hollywood who considers marksmanship an art. A lot of the stiffs around here used to be asshole celebrities, too. Bonus. <laughs> I love my job. What can I say? By the way, hey, you wouldn't be interested in watching the place while I go handle some business, would you? I'm not supposed to leave, or it might end up in a zombie holocaust or something. Like one time these goths snuck in. Ooh, wasn't pretty. Ha, uh, as if being a dude called Romero... Sitting in a graveyard, dealing with zombies isn't enough of a reference. You had to throw in Return of the Living Dead just for funsies. Which apparently is about to get a reboot, so that's fun. Ah, uh, what's in it for me? Let's see, if you can't shoot straight, I can probably fix that. And I've got quite the arsenal. I can probably let one piece go. We'll work something out when I get back. Uh, what do I have to do? 
I'll be back in about five minutes. If you should see any zombies in that time, you need to put them down. Now, they're dead, so you're either going to have to hack them up good or shoot them in the head. Just don't let them bite you. Why? Do you turn into a zombie if they bite you? No. It just hurts like a bitch. <sighs> Alright, I'll take over, but you better come back in five minutes or I'm leaving. Fantastic. Only one rule. Nothing gets out. Keep them away from the front and back gates. Here, this might come in handy. Back in five. The Remington M700. Well, that's a weapon that I have no skills for, but... Hurry up. This is so beneath me. Goodbye. Okay. Um. Ooh. Nothing at that gate yet. What about the other one? Leave that one alone. Cemetery gate. Do not destroy that. There's only two entrances you have to worry about. Oh, Jibbo. Okay, now let's... Back to the front gate. I'm gonna need more blood after this. at all concerned about all these random rotten corpses that are just sort of like hanging out around the gate on the outside or you know bits of them of this whole situation, otherwise, you know, one of those gates goes down, zombies get out, 
Oscar I thought. Basically. Even though it's not my fault, it's still masquerade violence for me. Yes, I didn't do a thing. Ah! Get out of the way! Stupid zombies! No! Back to the front door. Guess that means they're learning. Thank you, man. for that. Last one, would you? No need, really. Very nice. Whole time I was getting that six pack, I kept thinking I might have made a mistake. Can't believe I missed out on tonight's action. Man, they'll be back tomorrow night. Hey, let me give you something for the assist. <clears throat> sure, what have you got? Hmm. What have I got to give? I can give you a couple boxes of ammo or, uh, if you need it, I can try to improve your aim with a gun. I don't need ammo because I can't shoot. Teach me how to use a firearm. When you fire, keep your eyes on the target even after you shoot. And uh, use the sight. That's what it's there for. And style doesn't count for jack if you can't hit anything. Keep that clock to the sight crap in the movies. Ah, uh, would you look at the time? Million Dollar Midnight movie's about to start. Night's Teen Mummy meets Hercules Jr. <laughs> Turn off your face, Ace. See ya. Yeah. Goodbye. Um. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I couldn't move. It was one of those, you need to stand still until you get kicked out of the cemetery that you need to visit for reasons that aren't zombie related. Now... 8 experience. That's not enough. I need more. Now, of course, we can go and visit Romero. How's that whole blood-sucking thing working out for you? Not bad. How are things in the cemetery? Moon comes up, dead come out, hammer comes down. TV gets a uh, lousy reception. All in all, life's having a round swell. Nice to hear it. Goodbye. Ah, there's a number of different ways that whole Romero bit can go, but um, there's nothing wrong with Punching the shit out of a couple of hundred zombies. Not that there were anywhere near that many, but you know what I mean. It can get overwhelming, though, if you don't have something like celerity, which speeds you up. That's really useful. Or if you're not good with guns, or if you don't have something like potence. But that's fine. Mausoleum. Where is Ginger Swan's grave? Is it here? It is! Horror tape! A battered video cassette. The labeling is cheap and worn. You can barely make out Devil Spawn Flesh Feast 1. 
and the logo which looks somewhat like DMP. It appears this tape has changed hands more than a few times. Take it! And now, give it unto Isaac. Render unto Isaac that which he has sent you out to collect for him. Still only 9 XP, Jesus. Okay, I'm going to need to nibble on something soon. Why are there no rats in this cemetery? Probably because the zombies ate them all. Because these are not Romero zombies. Because of course they're not. Because if they were, if they bit you, you'd turn into one. is the wrong end. Oh, shit. That's why I dislike the disciplines being on the right house button. Sometimes you just accidentally click that shit. I'm going to have a nibble in the sewers first. Hey, Ratsy. Ooh, big Ratsy. Not afraid of me, but of course not. No Ratsy is afraid of a Nosferatu. Any others nearby? Come on. Oh, there's one. put me up to full blood. And now... Ah! Isaac. He made good time. Hand me the item. Ah, here. Yeah. I didn't doubt you'd find this, and I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. <coughs> but first, this tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. Oh. Dude was spot on. That just ain't right. It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? Fun stuff. Why is this important to me? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. How do you usually contact them? 
Usually, I just put the word out I'm looking for them, and sooner or later, they appear. So you think this type has something to do with their disappearance? I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Damn it, you're jerking me around, old man. If you think you can find them without my assistance, the door is over there. All right, where do we find a better copy? Behind the spit shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Don't want to get your hands dirty, do you, Toreador? I get them plenty dirty when a neonate doesn't know their place. Not one brick of this city's Camarilla ground, so mind your manners. That's all I ask of visitors to my streets. <sighs> Fine, I'll let you know if I find anything. See ya, Isaac. Actually, any luck? Getting closer, I had a few questions. Certainly. Anything else I can do in this city? There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Hmm, I can see that's got your attention. Yeah, tell me about this gargoyle. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking Kindred in my city. In I'm interested, but how exactly does one deal with a gargoyle? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. I'll see what I can do. Had another question. Certainly. What can you tell me about the Nosferatu? The Nosferatu? I deal with them when it's necessary. They're beneath my city somewhere. And I had hoped you could tell me what happened to them. Had another question. Certainly. Tell me about yourself. In your lifetime, unwittingly or not, you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. As the financier of 30% of American films' top 100 movies, you must have. Being the Baron of Hollywood, I can do any project I want. I'm impressed. Who's your favorite person you've worked with? Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden, Dean, Scorsese, De Niro, and last but not least, Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit lost in time telling me the only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. Ash. Ash. Where do I begin? Seven years ago, I saw a casting session for what would become Negative Zero. The moment I set eyes on him, the passion of his performance, I knew he had it. Go on. I hadn't seen anything like him since Clift or Dean. He had the looks, the charisma, the lure, that undefinable quality that makes a film legend. My first movie with him made him a sensation, and it also changed him. How? Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. The parties, the drinking, the sports cars, the women. One night when I came to discuss his next role, I found him nearly dead of an overdose. And I couldn't... I couldn't let him go. You made him your child to save him. I acted on impulse. I'd seen so many others die before their time, but with Ash, I had a chance to prevent that fate. So what happened? It devastated Ash. He still wanted to act, but I denied him his place in the limelight. He had to lie to his friends about his new lifestyle. He had to feed. I gave him a club, a scrap of his former glory. 
I did everything I could to facilitate the change. Does he hate you? He feels obligated to me. I don't think he hates me. Resents me, maybe. I am his sire, and he is my child, and there is a responsibility and respect inherent in that bond, even if we are no longer the friends we were. Where can I find him? He spends nearly all of his nights in his club, the Asp Hall. I am, I admit it, too old-fashioned to appreciate it. To me, it's the compressed essence of everything that's wrong with the film industry today. Uh, if I pass it, maybe I'll stop in. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Uh, it seems like a thing that can be done. Um. I was about to say I need to work out where the travel map is, but I just have. Now we want downtown. That's where the chantry is. I don't know where the hell these exits lead, other than, you know, somewhere. And really, anywhere is fine. Except here. Here is not fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Really don't want to visit LaCroix right now. Okay, so we will try this one then. I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's been a long time since I've played Nosferatu before, um, last time. I've done it, but, oh, 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 that's right, Pisher, we've got the fetish for Pisher. Let's go and do that while we're here. I saying? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Distracted. Ah, uh, oh, that's right. Nosferatu Haven. Um, I think you get that from Gary, possibly. But don't yes. quote me on that. Here's the item from the museum. Yes, this is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. Looks like a wet, rotting pig's face. Ah, uh, thanks. Another yes. question. You seem a bit preoccupied with death. Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. Hmm. And another question. Yes. I brought you a little snack, for free. If it satisfies you, I make an effort to only prey on the weak and worthless, consuming their flesh not out of spite, but out of self-preservation. <clears throat> I wither and rot without it. It is my survival. Yes. 
I'll let you get back to devouring flesh and poking at death. Bye! should have enough XP to increase my animalism now. Yes, 10. Woo. Done. And there's Strauss's place. Max. Got a minute? Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? You have a few minutes to talk with me. Of course. I have a question for you. About gargoyles. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? It seems that one lives in an old theater in Hollywood. I have some questions. What can I tell you about them? Come on, Max. Not telling me something about this gargoyle. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. What? Your creation? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant, and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I see. Well, Isaac Abrams has asked me to get rid of the gargoyle. Isaac Abrams? His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of Lacroix. If he finds out... It will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I will take it under consideration. You do that, Neonate. If I hear that you have divulged my secret to anyone, anyone, you will never be welcome in this chantry again. Do you understand? Oh, no. I'm tired of Camarilla secrecy. The Anarchs should know about this. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Neonate. I trust you will make the right decision. Farewell. Look, how can I fight the Gargoyle? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blood force is the only thing they understand. Good thing I've got three dots in potence. Uh, more questions about what gargoyles. What can I tell you about them? What is a gargoyle? A gargoyle, put simply, is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere clan in the early years of our existence. They are very powerful and not to be trifled with. The Tremere created them? Yes. We used our extensive knowledge of blood magics to create a race of protectors. They served that purpose well, but they have also caused many problems. It's a complicated issue. Or maybe you shouldn't have used Kindred. Well, many gargoyles still serve their Tremere masters, but a number of them have since rebelled and gone into hiding. They are a sentient race, but ultimately unfit for the freedom they desire. They need the guidance of their former masters. I need to get rid of one, how do I do it? With much difficulty. Okay. I'm out of here. And I'm totally telling Isaac as well, because... 
yeah, it amuses me. Also, fuck the cam. They're, they're just, no. If I were playing a, a uh, Ventrue, I would be Camarilla all the way. Same with Tremere, actually. But Tremere, I would be very much specifically Strauss all the way. But, I am a Nosferatu. So I don't really know exactly what I want to be doing, how I want to end this yet. But probably, siding with the Anarchs. They're just, I mean, they're more fun and entertaining characters among the Anarch movement. Even if Therese does want to be Camarilla, but, you know, nobody's perfect. And it's only half of her, because Jeanette don't want that. Um, okay. Snuff film, gargoyle, dish best serve cock. I'm going to duck in back to Santa Monica and uh, see what's at home as well, because I'm sure there's something. I'm going to have a reward for the thing. for the dish best served cold quest that thing is the thing that I meant um, yeah ah Really, I don't know why this game hasn't just been remastered, or better yet, remade. Because it's... I mean, the fan base is definitely there to warrant that sort of thing. <gasps> Shitting hell. But again, we're fine. We're all good. If they just panic and flee, that's fine. They're not telling people. Uh, nothing in the old ladder box, which is fine. And anything in the fridge. Hey, Heather. Oh, it's you. Earlier tonight, you weren't following me, were you? I had this feeling like I was being watched. Maybe it's nothing, but I'm still a little shook up. Somebody you don't know approaches you, shoot them in the head. If they're after you, yes, I'll do it. I just need to learn how to use a gun first. Do that. I will. You should. See you later, Heather. Now. Ah, right. I recently read Mr. Flayton's scathing review of the Cavaletti Cafe in the Sun, and I must tell you that I am extremely happy with his conclusions. You have done well. Please accept the payment I've left you in your mailbox. We will no doubt be seeing each other soon. Ah. <sighs> Fucking... Sebastian Lacroix is... Uh, quite honestly, he's the character I despise the most in this game. Just... Well, I mean... He is... Who and what he is. 
which is, um, yeah. Okay, 4 XP now. I need 15 for the next level of disciplines. Don't think I really need anything else much yet. Uh, let's see. Now I'm just talking to myself. Don't worry about that. I do that. to Hollywood and deal with the gargoyle. I love that rats fly or can levitate. It's really amusing. Floating sewer rats. <sighs> okay. Now. is one. We are right where we need to be. Actually, I think Hollywood's sewer system is a little less intricate than the others. Not that any of them are particularly... Uh, yeah. They're all very straightforward. All the hubs in this game are very basic, but that's oh, fine. It's allowed to be. Gargoyle time! <sighs> well, that's an entrance. Interesting way to start a conversation. I'm only here to talk. Talk? No. Always kindred are talking, scheming, hurting others with their lies. Monsters, you all. Abominations. A curse upon the earth. <laughs> well, I mean, you're really, really not wrong, but, uh. I know your master. Strauss. Strauss! The demon who made me, enslaved me, turned my flesh to stone, bound me in blood to his black heart. <sighs> I will bow no more to your kind, demon. It doesn't have to be this way. Isaac Ab Abrams wants you to work for him. No! Uh, 
there will be no more talk. Death for you, demon. Death and final darkness. No, please. There has to be another way. Okay, that's fine. Well, shit. Clearly, negotiations failed. <sighs> Let's wait for her to walk past. And go and visit Isaac first. We will see. You never know, it might work out in our favour. Hey bro. Any luck? I've learned something about that gargoyle. Yes? I think I'll deal with it first. Okay, fine. Ah. <sighs> Can't just go and say, hey, you know that gargoyle Strauss made it. No, you have to go and either fuck it up or shit. <sighs> okay, let's see how this works this time. my persuasion. Certainly not with scholarship, but with charisma, I have just enough. Persuasion of six. We'll see, that might work. It might not. fight you. I just want to talk. Talk? No. Always kindred are talking, scheming, hurting others with their lies. Monsters you all. Abominations. A curse upon the earth. <laughs> I know Strauss. Strauss, the demon who made me, enslaved me, turned my flesh to stone, bound me in blood to his black heart. I will bow no more to your kind, demon. Not all of us. I come here with an offer of peace from Isaac Abrams. What is this? Another devilish trick? Am I to trade one chain for another? Bow to Abrams now, instead of my old master? Never! <laughs> Isaac doesn't need another servant. He needs an ally against his Camarilla foes. Camarilla... What means this, Camarilla? They're kindred who want to rule over other kindred. Isaac fights against them. <laughs> he fights... fights against his own kind? Yes. He fights against those who made you a slave as well. The Tremere. The Tremere. 
Hate them above all your kind I do. Secrecy and sorcery. Betrayal and blood magic. Damn to hell are all of you. But the Tremere, most of all. This dude right here is... Fuck the Tremere personified. Basically. Actually, they're not such bad people when you get to know them. <laughs> yes, Isaac needs your help to eradicate their curse once and for all. Yes, I will fight alongside this Abrams and help him in his battle against this Camarilla. Lifeless demon he may be, but I swear to fight at his side. <clears throat> Good to hear it. I'll tell Isaac he has a new ally. Yes. Now leave me. This theater is my domain, and I seek the peace of solitude. See ya. Well, I didn't need the uh, extra point in persuasion. It seemed. So there was nothing to persuade. Uh, there is... Here we go. Film canister. That's a thing that I don't really know that I need yet. But of course I know that I need it. See you later, Mr. Gargoyle. Always better to talk things through than fight, isn't it? Any luck? <clears throat> yeah, so I've learned something about the gargoyle. Yes. First of all, I've convinced it to be loyal to you. A gargoyle serving in the defense of Hollywood. <laughs> Exceptional. I'm sure it'll come as quite a surprise to the first shock troop that crosses the city line. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full-time for the wrong side. Hey, I've got nothing against the Anarchs. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. And second, the Gargoyle was created by the Tremere Regent. He lost control of it. Are you positive? Hey, that was so... a Masquerade Redemption. <laughs> oh, that's or where the Gargoyle came from. <laughs> if something like this got out, it'd be humiliating for him. Why, if the right people found out about this, it'd be all over town by the end of the night. Well done, Neonate. Oh, and uh, I found a book, Tremere book about gargoyles, too. Have fun! Ah, uh, one of those people that smiles with only one side of his face. Look, I mean, you never know, maybe he had a stroke when he was alive. And that's the reason for that. Uh, now I have 4 XP again. And a persuasion of 6, because why not? see if this fellow has anything interesting for sale yet. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the Deb of Night. 
Hola. Nobody to fall asleep next to? I'm looking ahead, for a tape. You mean like That's hardcore girl on girl on and kangaroo hey, action and stuff? Oh? No. Yeah, yeah. My man Flynn at the Sinbin hooks me and my crew up for all the stuff they don't even allow Looks on the like internet. Been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours. Especially it's more of a uh, horror okay, snuff tape. Oh, that? Man. That's supposed to be some hardcore shit. I heard this one guy, like, died right after watching you up, or you Where I can get a copy. Like I said, Flynn's a man. You should talk to him. Thanks. I'll ask him. Hola. And I'd like the special. No, still nothing. Are there any scientists out there listening to this? Now, that's interesting. Uh, where are we going? Smutland. Where is Smutland? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's... Let's check out the two clubs as well. Asp Hole first. Then Vesuvius. Don't touch me, right? Excuse me. Well, mate, I don't think they let people carry swords and guns into nightclubs, even around these parts. I could be mistaken, but it just feels like you're breaking the law. You should probably leave. Fucking hunters, man. They're just rude. What the hell happened to your... You? Ugh. <laughs> Once you go gross, nothing else comes close. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Maybe you're familiar with my work. The crowd shot in that commercial for friggin' chicken. Back. Who keeps playing this song? Damn, man, get a new CD. Ah, okay. Um. Ah, back door. Good idea. died and people are still dancing. That's fun. Silent popping. Diddly dee. <sighs> Sucks, bro. Uh, Oh, this is just ridiculous. Let's not. Hey, right, buddy, go your own way. I'm trying. Oh, look. You stop panicking, all right? It's nothing to do with you. What's the hops, bro? So, what are you going to do tonight? Hmm? Buy a watch. You ash. Present. You know anything about a snuff film? That's street trash. You want the sin bin. Anything else? 
Your movies suck. You can't act for dog balls. Your opinion means so much to me. Look, I don't want to hurt you, but I will if you keep this up. What's the catch? You have a death wish or something? To say yes would be an understatement. What do you care anyway? I could just do it. Just walk out of here and into a legend. Maybe I live, maybe I don't. What's the difference? What are you talking about? You didn't see them? See who? Hunters in front, back, inside my club. I try to leave, they'll move on me. Oh, I saw so one. I had to ask myself, if I go out there, I could just walk out there Shit. right now, blaze of glory, the end. And you know what? Knowing that, it doesn't bother me. And I guess the only reason I haven't walked out yet is because I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't bother me. Uh, and you worried about what Isaac would think? It would break Isaac's heart. It's good to know some good would come from my death. <laughs> Oh, uh, you don't like Isaac? That story would take too long to tell. Suffice it to say, we haven't seen eye to eye on too many things lately. And it's pissed Isaac off to no end. Ash has daddy issues. For instance... He kept saying I should keep a low profile. He kept saying I was attracting too much attention to myself. Well, it's called the masquerade. You should have listened to him. You don't know me. I can't sit in an office all day and play Hollywood from the shadows. That's Isaac's thing. I'm an actor. I was an actor. I, I I don't have anything anymore except this club and some fame and this curse. Being kindred's great. Having powers, living forever, sleeping all day. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask Isaac to save my life. I didn't ask for this. Maybe I wanted to die. I was having fun, damn it. I was alive. Who the hell gave him the right to deny me that? I can't act anymore. I can't love anymore. All I can do is fade into obscurity. <laughs> Life sucks, and then you die, and then you undie, and then you die again. Maybe I can help you. Now, did Isaac send you? No. What the hell, then, would be your motivation to help me? Look, if I can kill people, I do. Nothing would make my night more than wasting hunters. And what do you propose we do? We'll tear through the sewers and the hunters, leaving a nice, bloody wake. Looks like it won't be a problem for you if a few hunters get in our way. <laughs> yeah, those hunters are gonna bleed. If I make it past the hunters, I'm getting the hell out of town. Let's head into the sewers. I'll follow you. Okay. This is fun. Basically, fucking escort mission, but... Oh, look, just fucking bleed. Be drained. Ash, there's another dude you could be attacking. Not my fucking lunch. Sorry, dude. Okay, that's not good. I shouldn't be hurting my... Charge. Shit. Hunters? <sighs> Hollywood Ash Sewer. Yeah, that's about right.
that was kind of silly. Damn escort mission target whatever. Hey, stop right there. There's other targets you could be going after, yeah? Jack was right about shotguns. This, this is why I've always hated escort missions. Anyone who's got anything remotely approaching fire is obviously the most dangerous individual. You could have at least let me finish. Bastard. going after the right dude this time. Amazing. Now you're going after my breakfast. Come on. Look, if you're hungry, Ash, grab one yourself and nom on him. It'll be fine.
nibble, 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 munch, munch, munch. Haha! <laughs> I love it when they shoot their mates. It's always so much fun. Um. Okay, sword fella. Sword fella. Thank you. Ah. Really? Come on. Okay. Sword fella dead. Now. I think this is the last of them. There might be another encounter, I don't know, it's been a while. Usually I just get Ash to switch clothes with his clone, and that's fine. But, we shall see. Come along Ash, this way. Uh, we have to go up here, don't we? Okay. Like I said, one more encounter. Come on! Fire! Ha 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 You missed! And now you... ...are dinner. Mind, dude? I mean, seriously. I think that was the last one. Here, this is for your troubles. You know, I only lived in Hollywood for ten years. I wonder how long I'll live on in her after I go. Hmm. Five hundred bucks, thanks. It was as far as I could fall. It was as low as I could go. Way past oblivion to a point only described as negative zero. And cut. Okay, well that's that done. And actually, I think this is where I'll call it for now. Uh, I'll not quite. Not quite. What I'll do is I will head up and at least point at Vesuvius so that I know that's the next place to go. Shitting ball sacks. I need to stop coming up there specifically. Okay, that will be it for now, um, hopefully you've been entertained, try to uh, subscribe if you have, and uh, farewell for now.